Today, I'm going to show you the most powerful way to unblock and increase circulation in your lymphatic system. Blake here, Gorilla Zen Fitness. The lymphatic system is basically your body's waste and removal system. It removes things like debris, cellular waste, inflammatory particles, so on and so forth. Similar to the cardiovascular system, your heart, your blood vessels, your veins, things like that, it's a circulatory system of the body. However, unlike the cardiovascular system, which has a centralized pump, aka the heart, the lymphatic system does not have a pump, and the only way that fluid flows through the lymphatic system is with motion. This is one of the reasons why we may feel crappy after being seated and sedentary for long periods of time on a plane ride, a car trip, something like that. Our lymphatic system is not flowing optimally usually in these types of situations. It's stagnating, and unlike a river that has a good flow rate, it's more like a pool or a cesspond just kind of stewing in its own waste. If it gets backed up and stops functioning optimally, you might notice things like skin issues, swelling, just general fatigue, stiffness, soreness, inflammation in your joints, frequent illnesses, the list goes on and on. There are many more things. The good news is there's a lot of things that you can do that are pretty easy and low impact to take care of your lymphatic system, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. This whole process should take you five minutes or less to do, so let's get into it. Now, before we do things that pump the lymphatic system or dramatically increase circulation there, we first have to clear any blockages that may be present in the major nodes, okay? Otherwise, doing things that increase lymphatic circulation or pump the lymphatic system is like trying to send water down a hose that's blocked. It's not really going to have the intended effect. This material I'm gonna show you right now comes directly from Dr. Perry Nicholson of Stop Chasing Pain. All right, this is a big six lymphatic massage. There are six main areas of lymph nodes that we're gonna be clearing during this process. So make sure you follow this along and actually go in the exact order that I'm showing. The protocol here is pretty much going to be the same for all six lymphatic points. We're gonna do 10 rubs and then 10 taps, okay? That's the minimum. I typically, when I'm doing this on my own, I'll do more than that, time permitting, but that's kind of the minimum effective dose that you wanna be doing. The first area that we're gonna actually start with is the collarbone lymph nodes, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna make 10 very soft, gentle, and quick circular motions just below the collarbone, right about here, okay? It's gonna look like this, 10 of these, and then you're gonna do 10 above the collarbone, 10 of these, all right, usually I'm a lot more vigorous with my hand here and I'll use the whole flat of my hand, but I don't wanna interfere with the microphone. 10 circular rubs below and above the collarbone and then 10 taps on the collarbone. As you can see, as I'm going really fast here, I can probably get in a lot more than 10. More is, is oftentimes beneficial, but like I said, 10 is a minimum. So 10 rubs above and below the collarbone. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side here. All right, like I said, I would use my whole hand, be a little bit more vigorous with this. You can change directions, clockwise, counterclockwise, minimum 10 above and below the collarbone. And then we're gonna tap here as well. Just like this, little gentle little taps. The next area that we're gonna clear are the cervical lymph nodes here on the side of your neck, okay? So just below the ear, right here on the side, 10 circular motions, you can switch it up, clockwise, counterclockwise, and then we're given 10 taps to that area Okay, this area drains into the collarbone, so we wanna do this area second. Okay, 10 little taps, circles on the other side, clockwise, counterclockwise, light and fast, and then 10 taps there. Okay, that concludes our cervical lymph nodes. Now we're gonna move into the axillary lymph nodes, or your armpit region, okay? Rub in here, all right? Get into the armpit as well. Clockwise, counterclockwise, minimum 10, you could do more. All right, and then taps. Tap into the armpit, tap into the kind of front of the pec, uh, front of the armpit region. Same thing on the other side. Rubs, switch direction, taps. And that's how you do the armpits or the axillary lymph nodes. Now we're gonna move into the abdominal lymph nodes. One hand on the belly button, one hand above, okay? You can make up and down motions here. You can crisscross, all right? Or you can make circular motions. Another thing I like to do, because some of these lymph nodes are not so superficial, they're deep in there, I'll kind of put my hands in here gently and kind of push into the abdomen just above the navel, all right? And then we like to slap this area, okay? Taps, sometimes I'll do this with my hands, 
try to kind of stimulate the liver while I'm doing this, tap up here too. But we want to tap this area after we're done massaging this area as well. Next, we're going to move into the inguinal lymph nodes. These are right here, okay, right in the front of the hips. Rubs at least 10 clockwise, counterclockwise, tap in there as well. And the last area is the lymph nodes behind the knees, all right? You're going to basically come back here, 10 rubs back and forth, all right? And then some slaps back there as well. That's it. You've now just helped your body to clear potential blockages in these areas of common congestion within the lymphatic system. Now, it is important that we pump the lymphatic system and do whatever we can to increase circulation through the system. The hoses are now cleared and we're ready to do this. Remember, the lymphatic system just needs movement to circulate fluid. So any form of exercise following that protocol is more than adequate, but there are certain things that I like doing that are a little bit more effective for increasing lymphatic circulation rather than just general exercise. But just keep in mind that general exercise is fine. Things that are a little bit more so specific for increasing lymphatic circulation though, are rebounding, jumping on a miniature trampoline like this. This is one of my favorite ways to increase lymphatic flow or circulation. Another thing that I will commonly use is a vibration plate. Sometimes, in fact, I'll do this whole protocol, um, the massaging of the nodes while I'm just standing on a vibration plate. Now I understand you watching this, you might not have a little miniature trampoline or a vibration plate. Another thing you could do is just kind of bounce in place and use the calf muscles to pump the lymphatic system up, all right? Just kind of doing little miniature rebounding like you're jumping on a trampoline, um, but you're not, just kind of bouncing in place. You can bring your arms into it as well and try to get some motion occurring full body. Jumping jacks, these are also good. You could also practice diaphragmatic breathing, laying on your back on the floor, putting one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest, as you inhale through your nose, sending two thirds of that air down into your abdomen and allowing the last one third to come up into the chest and expand the rib cage. This is another great way to pump the lymphatic system. When you're breathing this way, you're using your diaphragm, which is a big dome shaped kind of pump like muscle inside of your torso. It's your main muscle that you're using to breathe. Sending that thing down and up, which you'll do through increasing the depth of your inhalations and exhalations, is another great way to kind of activate the internal pump of the body to stimulate lymphatic flow. Do you need to do any of these? Not necessarily. Like I said uh, earlier, clearing the blockages, doing the massage is the most important thing. And then kind of any form of exercise after that is good. You can go for a walk, you can lift weights, you can go for a run. Those are all good and those are all going to increase lymphatic circulation. If you want to do something that's a little bit more specific for increasing circulation though in the lymphatic system, try the things I just suggested. As an added bonus to this video, there's something really important that I want to talk to you about, which is hydration. You can come across a lot of videos online showing you how to do similar things to what I showed you today, but if you're dehydrated, none of it's really going to matter that much. The body is mostly water, right? Well, did you know that the body has typically five to six liters of blood in it, whereas it has 15 to 20 fluid ounces of lymph fluid in it? Yes, the lymphatic system has three to four times more liquid or fluid in it than the blood, okay? So most of this water that's inside of your body is not from your blood supply. It's your lymphatic fluid, your interstitial fluid, and other fluids in the body. If you're dehydrated and your body does not have the ability to replenish its lymphatic fluid and keep it renewed, then that's another thing that can really affect the function of the lymphatic system and really lead you down a dark road. So this is kind of an easy thing to fix. You just need to make sure that you're drinking enough water, all right? I usually tell my online coaching clients to consume about 0.5 fluid ounces of water per pound of body weight. So basically, if you measure your body weight in pounds, drink half of that in fluid ounces of water per day. If you're a 200 pound individual, your goal should be to drink about 100 fluid ounces of water per day. That's gonna ensure that you're getting adequate hydration so that your body can actually replenish and renew that lymphatic fluid. Remember though, it's not just water that hydrates you. Your body needs minerals and electrolytes to drive that water into the cell so that you have proper intracellular hydration. So electrolytes and minerals are very important. What I typically do is I add a pinch of sea salt to my water before I drink it just to fortify it with electrolytes and minerals naturally present 
in the sea salt. That's it, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, click the notification bell as well so that you know whenever I upload next. If you wanna get access to my free workout that helps you correct your muscle imbalances, your postural misalignments, mobility, flexibility issues, while getting you stronger and leaner, you can either open up the description down below, click the first link available there, or you can check out the first link that I pinned in the comments. Once you click that link, that will take you over to my website. I'll ask you for your email and I'll send you a copy of that workout within five minutes. If you wanna see another video similar to today, check out the stuff on the screen here. Like I said, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Click that notification bell down below as well. That's it for today. I'll see you next time.